everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi I'm Melissa and I make fashion and beauty and lifestyle content here on this channel and today we're gonna to be going over some of my favorites from Amazon in the lifestyle category I'm gonna be listing like 10 things today and I have so many more favorites so maybe I'll do a part two of this video but for now let's just jump right into it so my first favorite from Amazon is the five minute journal now this is kind of like a self-help journal where you can write things that you're grateful for you can write what made your day great your daily affirmations just kind of like reaffirming like the positive psychology in your life and then also three amazing things that happened and how you could have made the day even better so it's kind of broken up into morning and then nighttime segments so i'll show you something that i wrote back in the beginning so this is from march i just wrote down some things that I was grateful for. So March 1st, I was grateful for my health and my strength, my boyfriend and my emotional maturity. And then what made today great, I was mindful when I watched my lectures. I got through my laundry mountain. I had so much laundry that day apparently. And I practiced joyful movement. So just, I don't know. I think this is great to start your day off on a positive note and then to end it on a positive note. And then it kind of makes you think a teeny tiny bit about how you want to improve in your day. Not every day is great and I still try to write in here, but I just think this is great if you're starting out and you want to journal, but you don't really know what to journal about and you don't want to write something super lengthy. I think this is just right to the point and it's really great. And if you want something a little bit more colorful and exciting, I suggest the Feel Your Best book by Bando. I bought this and I completed some of the stuff in the beginning, but I honestly kind of forgot about it until recently. And it just has like really pretty practices and things that you can do on all these different pages. And the different colors correlate to different practices that you can do. Like this one says, use this space to identify your boundaries, which I think is so important. And I did a couple pages, I don't even know where, but I remember I was reading through this and I just love the message. And I think this is great if you want something a little bit more aesthetic that has more prompts to do. Oh yeah, so I started here. <laughs> Okay, so going along those lines, my next recommendation is this super chic planner from Amazon. Obviously, these are all from Amazon, but it has a little closure here. The inside is super chic. This is what the inside looks like. It's this nice tan. The inside also has a place where you can put your cards and papers. I bought these tabs separately, which I love. They're just plain black tabs. I also bought these little tabs that say the month in gold. I just kind of like keeping this planner super aesthetic, black, white, tan. I just think it's really cute and it's been really helping me get everything done that I need to get done. I'm so busy right now. This is such a crazy time in my life and I got these inserts separately as well. I kind of basically just customized this planner. So here's what one of the inserts looks like. So it has my critical tasks, other tasks I wanna do, an hourly um, day by day thing, today's wins, progress goals, exercise, a little thing to show if you've had enough water or not. And then the back is plain so you can write like additional notes. And this has really helped me just keep everything together just because I am doing YouTube and school and work and moving and there's a lot of dates that I have to keep in my head. So it's great to put them in here. Anything important that I think of, I put in this planner and I just love it. I also got, I should show you the back. I got these little envelopes. I'm pretty sure people use these for cash stuffing. I normally put my pens that I use to write in here. I guess I just forgot to put them back in here. I use these to organize Nick's business receipts. I help him keep organized with that. These inserts are great and I'll link everything down below. That way you know the products that I picked out personally. But yeah, I just think this is super chic and it's the perfect size. It'll fit in my Neverfull, it'll fit in my backpack. And I used to get the huge planners because I write a lot and I write really big. But the fact that each page is a day and it's double-sided, you can use the front and back, I think that's perfect. Like, I can fit everything I need to in this. All right, so we're gonna go into my next category, which is beauty. And so, funny thing is, I have been using this new sponge from Amazon. It's only $8.99. It feels like a beauty blender. This one is my beauty blender right here. I, for the life of me, cannot find that sponge. I use it every time I do my makeup. I don't know if I accidentally threw it away because sometimes I'll put it in a paper towel after I do my makeup so I remember to wash it and I'm wondering if I threw that paper towel away. So I'm using this to represent my favorite sponge. It has one flat side like the Fenty Beauty sponge but it still has like a pointy tip unlike the Fenty Beauty one and so I love it so so much. I was really skeptical because I feel like when you buy like lower end sponges they're super hard and they don't have that beauty blender feeling. However, 
that other sponge that I'm still gonna link down below because I'm gonna buy like two more. It is so, so good. I absolutely recommend it. If you're like me and you don't wash your sponge right away, but you only use fresh sponges on your skin because of acne or sensitive skin or whatever, then it's good to have multiple and it is so hard to stock up multiple of the beauty blenders because they're like $20 each. So I definitely recommend stocking up on those other sponges. I'm gonna pick up a few more, but they are definitely a lifestyle recommendation from me. Next up, we have this beautiful chic candle. I am absolutely in love with this candle. This one is the Espresso Bean Soy Candle. It has a cotton wick and it's from the brand Lulu Candles and they like hand pour it here in the USA. I am obsessed. I'm trying not to say that so much lately, but I'm actually obsessed with this candle. It smells so unbelievably good. This is a fresh one because I go through them. It's a little pricey, I will admit. It's $19.99 for this baby, but it lasts so long and it fills up the room so, so beautifully. I don't know the terminology for the candle world, but it definitely like wafts. Like it has good spreadability, <laughs> if you will. It's so good. And they have other scents. I've gotten Nick this candle in different scents. They have one called Sexy Man, so I got him that one. I just thought that was funny. And I've also tried a lavender one and a clean linen one. Those were both like really good. And I like that they're like a cleaner, formula and it has the cotton wick because I did some research that the wick isn't healthy if it has metal in it something like that you're gonna have to do your own research but yeah I highly suggest these candles they're super chic looking I love that it's neutral it's just black and it'll stand out if I put it back there okay so now we're gonna move into my kitchen recommendations so the next thing is this beautiful wine glass it is I love it so much it's so trendy it's the round wide glass but that's squared out at the bottom I love it so, so much. I have a whole set for Nick and I to use if we have guests over. I just think it looks so trendy and I don't know a ton about wine right now. I'm like just dabbling my feet into it to learn more. So I don't know if you're not supposed to put certain wines in this cup, but like, let's be real. I'm not gonna buy 50 different cups for like 50 different wines. I'm just gonna use the same cup because it's not that serious for me. But if you love your wine, maybe get the size that fits for you. But I think these are really affordable and they're a really, really good quality glass and I love them. So yeah, and I think they just look super cute on a table. Okay, next up we have this recipe tin and I know this is kind of random, but I was searching for so long for the perfect recipe like box and I found one from Mackenzie Child, but it was super expensive and it was ceramic and I was worried about during my move that would break. So I wanted something just kind of like low key for now. And this one is perfect. It's white and gold so chic it came with cards itself it came with like inserts these are like cute flower ones i probably would have wanted something a little bit more neutral but that's fine and it has like little tabs and then i went ahead and bought my own recipe cards i got these little slip covers so they wouldn't be damaged but yeah i'm such a super sentimental person and i wanted like a recipe bin to kind of pass down to my children when i have them or even my sister's children my nieces so i don't know i just thought this was super cool to have and i wanted to start building up my recipes and keeping family recipes together and things that I come up with and things that I make every holiday season. I just kind of wanted a little space for that and this is so small and compact and it'll fit anywhere in the kitchen and it's super cute. But this one's under $20 I believe so good pick. All right you know it wouldn't be a Melissa video without some mention of coffee somewhere somehow. So we're gonna go over coffee favorites. I've mentioned them before but I feel like they need their spot here in this lifestyle section on my channel. First of all, the glass straws from Amazon are amazing. I don't like to use the plastic straws. I like to use reusable ones, but I need to see through them. I need to see if my dishwasher or my hands clean my straws good enough. So these are perfect because if you take them out of the dishwasher, you can see immediately if they're clean or not. And then it comes with like a pipe cleaner for you to go down in there and clean it yourself too. But yeah, this is perfect. Also love the Java sock. My coffee always condensates. That can get all over my furniture. But if I use the Java sock, then that doesn't happen. I think I'm going to get like a white and a black one too, just kind of vary it because I got this one from my brother's fiance and it's super cute, cheeto, very me, but I want like some neutral ones too because sometimes if I'm wearing like cheetah print clothing or leopard print clothing and then I have this in my hand, I just, I feel like I'm clashing. <laughs> Not that it matters, but that's just how I think. So this outside part won't sweat at all. So it's absolutely perfect. <laughs> all right, so I mentioned this, I think in my last vlog, I'm not sure, but these are the two things that I put in my coffee and they are so, so good. This is the Nut Pods Toasted Marshmallow Creamer. I love it so much. So it's sugar-free. So that's why I add in the caramel flavored Stevia Sweet Drops. This is also my favorite Stevia. If you know me personally, you know I'm obsessed with this. I always have one in my purse. If you love to add your own sweetness, 
like I do, this is the perfect combo. It's so good. It's like the caramely nutty notes with the toasted sweet marshmallow notes. It's amazing. Absolutely love it. Okay, I forgot. So I have one more food thing and then I have two fashion items I wanted to show you, which I totally forgot about. Okay, so this next thing is my cream soda Zevia. I love this stuff so, so much. I don't drink soda, but I do drink this. This flavor in particular is amazing. I also like the root beer one. It has zero calories, zero sugar. All it has is carbonated water, natural flavors, stevia, leaf extract, and citric acid. Citric acid, if you didn't know, is just vitamin C. So nothing to be worried about there. But yeah, this is great if you have PCOS and you're trying to reduce your sugar intake, but you still like carbonated water, definitely recommend it. And I literally buy it in a case of 24, I think, on Amazon. Next up, I have these super cute sneakers. So I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but they're a very like chill leopard print. Definitely click on the link so you can see the leopard print a little bit better, but they're just a cute white athletic shoe. Now I use these, as you can see, there's nothing on the bottom. I use these for working out indoors. These are so comfortable. They come in like wide, extra wide, depending on the size. And so I have wide feet. So these worked really well for me and they're perfect for working out indoors. I think they're also great for walking. They don't have the absolute most support in the world and they're not like the best sneaker on the market but I think for indoor workouts or light walking this is the perfect shoe and it's like white and it's chic so I don't know I'm trying to only buy things that kind of like are on brand for me if that makes sense like if I want like a can opener let's say I want to buy it in a color that I enjoy instead of like a random red or a random green that I feel like is in the supermarket I'm just trying to you know curate my life a little bit not that it matters it's just I'm having fun doing it I also just like love the subtle leopard print like that's just so me <laughs> okay so for my last recommendation it is the boyfriend oversized sunglasses these are so cute and so chic like this is definitely like a boat day vibe or a summer vibe even fall I think they're so cute I have I got the ones in like the tortoise shell when I bought my Gucci sunglasses online, I thought they were gonna be a little bit more tortoise shell than they were. They kind of just appear black. And so I love them, so I kept them because they fit great, they felt amazing, they definitely felt like great quality. But I was still looking for like a nice tortoise shell like style glasses. So got these from Amazon, they're under 15 bucks. I think they're only $11. They're so cute on. I love them for boat days beach days anything like that just because I don't feel bad if I get them wet or if I were to ruin them in any way just because they're so inexpensive because I was like I'm not gonna bring my new Gucci sunglasses to the beach like ever like that's not what we're gonna do I ruined so many pairs of Ray-Bans by thinking that they were kind of like an all-weather situation when they're not <laughs> so definitely recommend these they're really good all right you guys that is it for my Amazon lifestyle recommendations for today let me know if you want a part two of this video because I feel like I have more recommendations but I didn't want to overload you guys with like so much information and product but yeah definitely let me know and if you like this video don't forget to like it comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye